the best film of 2016 and never got released in Australia, and I missed it until deep into the year. That film is Krisha, K-R-I-S-H-A, written and directed by Trey Edward Schultz as his feature debut. Where have you been? What have you been doing? I have tried to become a better human being. <laughs> it is astonishing, and the only film I watched this year for a second time within a week. Set in a roomy Texas house on Thanksgiving and taking place entirely within that day, Kresha is a serious, creepy, ambitious, moving, uncompromising, and wholly successful cinematic work. Kresha, played by Kresha Fairchild, Schultz's aunt, returns to the bosom of her family, played almost entirely by members of Schultz's own family for the holiday. The trouble is, under the welcoming surfaces, everything is cracked. And as the day progresses, the glass starts to splinter. It's seemingly simple, yet in just 83 minutes, enormously, profoundly compelling and quite terrifying. The film was shot in Schultz's parents' home in nine days for around $60,000, but it is fully realized as a piece of cinema with bold, elaborate cinematography, astonishing, creepy original music by Brian McComber, and absolutely superb acting that deliberately combines pure naturalism with a heightened style as the film demands. It's won 16 major awards, including the Grand Jury and Audience Awards at South by Southwest, and was nominated for the Critics Week Grand Prize and the Camera Door at the Cannes Film Festival. Kresha is similar in tone to a horror movie, set within the structure of a home for the holidays family drama, and entirely unforgettable. I could not recommend it more. You are a lever. You are heartbreak incarnate. If you think you can just pop in and pop out of people's lives like this, you are malinformed. Where you scream to watch that, watch this. And I'll die down through this hairy flesh and ever-running bloodstream.